unless you're trying to look like Jane Fonda, this is not very cool. And if you don't understand why this is not very cool, we've got a problem. If you're doing the Jane Fonda move, likely what you're after is working the outside of your hip, that gluteus medius, gluteus minimus. We've got a better way we can do that and actually work both at the same time. You want to sit in this side position and when you're here, you'll likely be like this. What you want to do is take your shoulder, pull it away from your ear, your torso, when it's dipping down, you want to lift it up so we're in a straight line. Think about bringing your belly button, your waistline forward as you drive your knee down. Simply like this. Good, and you can come back. You can add motion to it, you can hold. If you want to hold at the top, you can add some motion of the opposite extremities, such as reaching up and down. You can do different combinations, throw some weight in there. To get more activity out of your glute, glute maximus specifically, you can attach a band onto something, have it wrapped around your waist, and that's going to pull you back. So when you come up and forward, it's going to accentuate that gluteus maximus activity. A way to further challenge our Jane Fonda muscles is to wrap a band around your knees and perform the same move. By doing this, you should definitely feel those muscles lighten up.